One's hexachromatic position is always in flux. Planning is paramount. Summer.
ためにね Show them what I can.
According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Is Trailblazers from the Astronauts. Something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! In my apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Achivelli. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. I don't think you can choose anyone's voice for Achivelli's. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Without pay. Do you 
you plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the rest room where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. You plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pawpaw pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. You plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express Data Bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. By order of the assassins. Delicious, thirst quenching, so glad is the only brand of beverage permitted to appear in recorded drink stops. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Oh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is! Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces! That's all for the content of this dream book. Your experience. <laughs> this dream aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream level again, you can purchase it with credits. This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? Thank you. Hope to see you at last. Oh! <laughs> As this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a stick for you. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape past and commemorate your unique trip to Pentacle. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. She went that way! Get her! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Well, there must be some you're close to. Well, three. 
Spring! Look <laughs> to you as you rode Snowmup to you. Huh? You sneak to you. <sighs> you barge to you. The first ahem. There are cases of. I won't make any explanatory or hidden comments on the content of this dream. And that's not even half the list. Uh, sorry. No. Could of course <sighs> that guy. Welcome to. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Hey, look! She has an accomplice. Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go! All will be swept away by the wind. That's enough, boys. Uh, sir, sir! What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who... Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and grey vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest! Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir! Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. 
We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacony. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. <laughs> You're funny. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Though I do admire the nameless. The family invited you here, right? I I'd be happy to show you around. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Over here! It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. Pizza, oak 
cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. Shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. I told you about earlier. If you keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. something interesting.
dream is right before my eyes. Watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penaconi as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next Watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penaconi in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Panacone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Watchmaker really was a nameless. Wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Yeah. <laughs> 
It's done! It came out great! You're very photogenic. Help! Help me! Pull me out, please! statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Really? You jumped just now. It was really sudden, too. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, Let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are! The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look! There's even a telescope here! When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. <laughs> Next, uh.
in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Panacone. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soulglad Enterprise. Soulglad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soulglad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soulglad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soulglad is in Penacone's dreamscape. Now this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Panacone to the fullest. Thanks. 
Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's do it! Let me see, which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. Tokens. Time to meet Firefly.
people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. just now because well someone's been following you don't turn around i'm certain that you're his target he's been on our tail since we parted ways with mr gallagher i wondered whether he was a friend of yours but my instincts told me he wasn't he's about five feet nine inches tall give or take judging from his strong build it's clear that he's well trained he walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. 
I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. You're such a hoot, buddy. This is Penacody. Of course you're in a dream. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your L06 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't be like that. You're making things awkward. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which... Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Whoa! Um, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. It takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. 
Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. District? Bingo! Our destination is right there. Pepe Pepeshi Salon. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Pepeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. just arrived. <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. Stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. 
the cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. <laughs> Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. <laughs> 